Yo guys, what is up? It is Nick, and today I'm going to be doing a more conservative bracket. People have been uh, getting not up in arms, but they've been getting kind of angry with my upset. So I'm going to do a more conservative looking bracket today. Uh, it's going to have a fewer upsets and stuff like that. Uh, more of a, I'm not saying a lacking in knowledge person, but someone who's not uh, confident in making upset picks. Someone who may... Um, watch limited basketball, stuff like that. Someone who um, goes with the marquee teams, and um, I'm going to throw a little dash in of my upset picks uh, into the mix. So I'll probably maybe update this one. I'll probably do a second version of this one uh, as the week goes on. So Florida, I'm going to go with Pitt still. I'm going to go with my boys and Stephen F. Austin, UCLA, Ohio State, Syracuse, New Mexico, Kansas, head back up to the top and take Florida, uh, UCLA, uh, Ohio, now, I'll take Syracuse, uh, Kansas, Florida, Kansas, Florida to the final four, down in the east bracket, Virginia, uh, Memphis, Harvard, Michigan State, North Carolina, Iowa State, UConn, Villanova. In this one, I'm going to take my boys. I'm going to take the Huskies over Nova and then Iowa State. I think Shabazz Napier and Brian wrote It'll be an interesting matchup. Ryan Boatwright, Shabazz Napier, and DeAndre Daniels against... Uh, DeAndre Kane, Melvin Edgem, and George Sneang. But I want to try Connecticut. I want to test this. Uh, this Once again, this is not my final conservative bracket. Uh, this is just the beginning. Michigan State, Virginia, Michigan State. I'm going to take UConn um, to the Final Four. An interesting pick there with UConn going to the Final Four. But uh, Shabazz Napier has a chance to catch fire like uh, Kemba Walker did. Back in back three years ago, when I actually picked them to win the national championship. So, yeah, Arizona, Oklahoma State, Oklahoma, San Diego State, the Corn Huskers in Nebraska, Creighton, Oregon, Wisconsin, Oklahoma State, San Diego State, Creighton, Oregon, Creighton, Oklahoma State. And Oklahoma State to the Final Four. Seems to be a common theme with my picks. Wichita State, Kentucky, NC State, Louisville, I Tennessee, Duke, Texas, Michigan, Michigan, Duke, Louisville. I'm going to take Wichita State. I'm going to take the Shockers over Kentucky in my more conservative bracket here, just simply because if it's more of a conservative bracket in terms of the number one seeds making it farther. Louisville, Michigan, and I'm going to take uh, Michigan in this bracket over Louisville. Uh, come up with a different national champion. I'm going to take Michigan over Oki State, and this is a tough one. Uh, I'm going to go with Florida. Even though UConn beat Florida, I'm going to take UConn. I think Florida, I think Shabazz Napier outperformed Scotty Wilbekin, and Amita Brima down uh, down low gives them fits, and I think Kentucky or Connecticut takes it. And then Michigan is my national champion by a score of 84, I'm losing score, 79 to 84. A high-scoring game. Both teams aren't great on defense. So, this is more of my conservative bracket. This is just part one of this. Uh, this will have a second part. This is kind of the... Um, I'll have my main, main bracket, and then I'll have this conservative, more conservative approach to bracket uh, for those that had a problem with my other picks. Uh, so this this division ended up 1, 2, 3, 4 for the uh, Sweet 16, and down here it ended up 1, 4, 3, and a 7 for the... Uh, Sweet 16 down in the east, uh, out in the west. Uh, it was a 9, 4, 3, and 7. Uh, went away from the 1 and 2, but still carried a conservative 2 of the top 4. And down here I carried all 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. So out of the brackets, I only carried 
I only missed a number two, two number twos and a number one to make it to the Sweet 16. So that's a little bit more of a conservative. Um, up here I got a one and a two, a nine and a three, a uh, four, two fours, and a two and a seven. So it kind of faltered a little bit, and then my final four is a little bit. My final four is very unconservative uh, by the point that Florida is the only team that maybe most people have. Michigan is not a predominant choice. Connecticut and Oklahoma State definitely aren't predominant choices. So as of right now, this is my general little basic bracket. Uh, Michigan, UConn, I don't remember. I think UConn won by one. It was a last second, second shot by Shabazz Napier. Uh, yeah, it was a win by one. Uh, they do have quality wins. Two wins against Cincinnati. Beat Memphis three times. That Florida wins big, even though it was early in the season. The big one is the three losses to Louisville. Uh, but yeah, that is going to do it for this one. Uh, the little con a little conserv bringing a little bit of a conservative bracket to you guys. Uh, for some of you that uh, had a problem with the way I conduct my bracket picking, I have a little bit of a conservative more. Con more conservative bracket, a very conservative bracket would just be to take the highest seed and uh, roll with that, which would be give you Arizona or give you yeah give you Arizona Florida for the national championship, and having Florida win. But I'm not about that life, so this is about the most conservative you're gonna get out of me. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Drop a like if you did. Subscribe if you haven't, and I will catch you all later. Peace out, guys.